Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be testing Black Myth Yukong with the RTX 3060 Ti. We have the Zotac Twin Edge OC model of the GPU and here are the specs of the card as you can see. We have 8 gigabytes of GDDR6X, not sorry, not 6X, this is a 6 GDDR6 model of the card and we have the latest Nvidia driver 560.94 which just now landed the game ready driver for this game and also a Star Wars Outlaws. And we have resizable bar enabled in the BIOS over here. As you can see, we have the Intel Core i7-13700KF as always. We have 64 gigabytes of DDR5 CL36, 6000 megahertz of RAM. Finally, for MSI after burner, we have no overclock supplied. Everything is at stock settings. So let's get into the game and check out the frame rates. All right, guys, we're in the menu. We are going to start it off with 1080p resolution. And we're going to use a medium preset at first. Everything set to medium with no ray tracing, no frame gen and set to DLA. So we're getting uh, close to 80 frames per second in this jungle area, even though the full game is probably in the jungle. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But this is where I left the 4780i benchmark. 4780i super. And I'm continuing it from over here with the 3060ti right now. And I have to fight a frog down there, a big frog monster. But before that, let's kill these guys. Oops. <laughs> he fell down. Okay, didn't die. But we're getting close to 90, 80 FPS over that. And averaging at 80. And there's this bones skeleton enemies. They're pretty easy to fight. Uh, uh. They're very slow though. Just basically farming skill points at this time so I can defeat that frog down there. And in medium settings, the uh, game looks pretty decent. Uh, the textures are very blurry though. And not that good. As I was doing uh, the 1080p uh, uh, benchmark tool run, the benchmark, I didn't do it with I didn't do it with the uh, 3060Ti. But what it seemed in that tool that it was uh, dropping the resolution scale probably in the background while using medium high settings. And it's probably doing the same here, but it's in case of the textures at distance. It's dropping the resolution. And there's lots of pop ins as well, especially these plants. As you can see here, the frogs. There's a giant frog waiting for us. Over there, we have to fight him. So we are averaging at 82, which is fine. We're gonna switch to high settings now. All right, so now we're gonna move on to high preset with DLA. And we are hitting that sweet 60 FPS pretty much. VRAM is absolutely fine. Gotta be careful of these things. They're very deadly. I have to fight that giant frog. They explode after dying, these tiny frogs. Ooh. He jumps onto us. No, 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 don't attack me, their legs. Use my transformation. Really want to kill him, and the frame rate's dropping to like 40s right now, which is not good. Couldn't even take half of his health. Look at his stun. I can't even see because of the water splash and all the all the plants down here and grass. If I can do this, guys, I am gonna be so happy. Though it's not my first attempt, but it's the first attempt in this video, so I will take it regardless. 
gonna use my ability and heal up. Now I'm gonna hit him and there we go. Okay, he was kind of a mini boss, not a major boss, but I'll take it. We made it in our first go, which is amazing. All right, moving on. We're gonna use very high preset, but we can't use DLA. The frame rate is very bad. It's like around 30, 40 ish. So we're gonna use DLSS quality and set this to 63. Don't know why it changes to 62 always. So we still won't get 60 plus FPS, as you can see with DLSS 63. It does stay above 50 though and builds to 60. And image quality is quite a huge downgrade using DLSS at 1080p. You can notice it easily. There's a lot of noise and blurriness. You might not be able to tell it from the YouTube video. Look at his hair even. It's messed up. But regardless, we're getting 58 average. I wouldn't I wouldn't really play at this settings. At 1080p, I would probably use high with DLA. Should be fine. It is playable. It's not that it's just not playable. But I wouldn't really uh, be playing like this at 1080p because it looks really bad. He's stuck behind the tree. So up next, it will enable FSR 3 frame generation. Yes, this game has FSR 3 frame generation support. So it's a welcome for the 30 series GPU. I'm going to use very high preset. So we are using frame generation now. And yeah, there is a lot of input delay. It's very noticeable. I can easily notice it. There's a huge delay. It's very dark in here. I don't think we have to go in here uh, because there's no way. Look at those artifacts on those textures. It's pretty much because of FSR 3 frame generation, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna turn it off and see. So I'm going to turn off FSR 3 frame generation and I will use FSR native with very high preset. Oh, it's still there. As you can see, they're still there. I wonder if it's FSR 3 or just the game itself. Let's quickly check this out. Switch it to DLA. Yes, it's the game only. That's weird. So we will stick to FSR3 native for now. And I'm not sure where to go though, currently. And with uh, FSR3 native, we're getting 35 frames per second. And it looks very sharp. From DLA to FSR3. We are getting 40 average, close to 40. But I think I would much rather use DLA over FSR3 native. I have to find my way out, you know. Alright, moving on, we are going to try it with 1440p resolution and as you can see, we have low preset starting it off and we have DLA turned on. Let's check this out. And as you can see, it looks horrible, the game in low settings. And I like the fact that low actually looks low in this game, unlike many other games where even on low settings, it looks so good that... Your, uh, that your GPU fails to run the game. At least if you want to play it and you don't have the money to upgrade your PC, you just want to play the game. You can't in those games like Hellblade 2, Alan Wake 2. Those games, even on low settings, looks incredible. So as you can see, 
we are getting like 70 plus frames at 1440p and the lighting is really messed up there is absolutely no shadows whatsoever and as you can see the textures look awful it takes a while to load in and the textures at the distance they don't load up obviously which is good from low settings but everything you can see everything very clearly the, the, there is reduced foliage as well my goodness there's so many my god i think i entered a boss territory right now okay he's he is definitely a boss i shouldn't have entered his area but it's too late all right up next at 1440p we're gonna use medium preset and with dla enabled we're getting like 50 fps on medium preset and there's a huge difference from medium to low you know the bell rang it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown forget it overthinking won't help your presence has already made a mess in the mountain why not go ahead take them out once and for all so yeah Using medium preset, the shadows and lightning are back. They are working fine. Unlike low, there is absolutely no shadow or lighting whatsoever. So you can play it with medium settings at 1440p. It should be fine. And if you want more frames, more than 60, always, you can enable DLSS quality as well. This lines. All right, now I'm going to use high preset and we're going to use 65 DLSS quality. Let's check this out. So we're getting below 60. Sometimes it just goes above 60 and comes back down. But this is also playable. If you want better graphics, uh, you can compromise a bit of resolution. This is absolutely fine. Oh my God. Who's above me? Who's that? Oh, he's hiding. He's afraid. Okay, stop hitting me already. That's not <laughs> So yeah, medium looks pretty good even with DLSS quality enabled. It still looks great. This is, this is how I would play personally if I had a 3060 Ti installed. I mean, if I had it only because I have lots of other GPUs. I really re do not recommend playing this game on low preset because it looks horrible on any resolution. Got lots of stuff here. Hello, well, okay. well. All right, so finally I'm gonna do is make it FSR3 with 65 and turn on frame generation. Using high preset, there is no point of going above high with this GPU. Maybe we can try very high with frame gen after this and see. And frame generation, I can't really feel. Okay, now I can feel, yeah. There's this lag. The frame time spikes you just saw there. I could feel the input delay there. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, it's sometimes like it rotates very fast and then it becomes slow. Your mouse movement, but I can really feel it. Not always, but often. To what end? Do you oh think? my goodness, another boss fight. Okay, this one is a big boss. A it's not a mini away. boss. <laughs> We died in one hit there. I don't know anyway. We're getting like 90 FPS average though with frame gen. Okay, so I'm gonna try is very high preset now. And I'm gonna use DLSS quality. Sorry, FSR quality at 65. And frame generation turned on. I know it's not gonna be a nice experience, but it's just an exper experiment. Yeah, I can straight off the bat feel the input delay it's very bad and the image quality looks horrible at the same time i would just personally stick to uh medium with dlss 
enabled and at max maybe high with DLS quality nothing more than that oh 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 what the hell I like freezing these guys where did he come from both of them are trying to attack me at this point Oh my god, that stutter there. Uh, I forgot to lock on. They keep falling down. There we go, we leveled up. So we're getting 68 average. There is a lot of input delay there, which I can notice at times, not always. Oh, not gonna go in there. They're gonna, they're gonna get up and start fighting. All right, guys, this will be it for this video. Do leave a like and subscribe if you're new to this channel and let me know down below about this game. What do you think about this performance and optimization? Let me know about your uh, specs and FPS. How much you're getting how the game is running for you and i'll see you guys next time and take care bye bye